Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be going over the process of how I got into nail school and my experience with it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm starting in um, on May 4th of this year, so I think that's like next week from now. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go over the process of how I got in, the clothes I'm going to be wearing, and what I'm going to be bringing on my first day. I don't have my kit yet, but I'm also going to do a video of unboxing my kit once I get it which I'm supposed to get on my first day. So, um, how it started off, it wasn't like applying to like college or anything, like I didn't apply online. I just, I searched the nail schools uh, nearest to me because I didn't want to do a full cosmetology program. I didn't want that full license. I just want the nail technician license. So I was trying to find ones near me. I know we have like Empire Beauty School and like um, tons of schools for hair but um, no schools that were specifically on nail technician. So then the closest one I found is about 30 minutes away from me, and it's the um, French Academy of Cosmetology. They also offer cosmetology and um, esthetician classes and all those things. Um, they also offer specifically just a nail course. So that's where I decided to go, and I reached out to them because um, I went on their website and it said, for more information, please email blah, blah, blah. So, I emailed that person and um, I said, how, how does it work with your classes? When do they start? How do I apply? Um, please let me know any more information on the nail technician course. And they got back to me and said, first things first, you have to come in for a tour and we'll get all your information on like, it's kind of like an application, like they'll get like your name, address, um, high school you graduated from, all that stuff. So I scheduled that and I went there to get a tour of the place and they basically just showed me around. The front of it is just like, it looks like a regular salon, like walking in there's a reception desk and a waiting room. And then walking past it, there was like the hair area and they had tons of seats for that. And then behind there, walking past that was like um, the school area. So she explained to me that's where I'm going to be my first three weeks is just like no hands-on stuff, but just learning um, the basics behind it, and then going around a circle, there was a break room, and then the nail room, which was also slightly connected to the, um, hair room, so then there's just a couple tables for nails, and then, um, the, uh, pedicure stations, so that's what they showed me, I filled out, um, everything, and then I went into the room with the lady that I emailed, and she gave me these booklets. So, um, the first booklet um, explains everything. There's a mission statement, um, a welcome page, um, and there are some pictures in here. I hope you guys can see that. If not, I'll try to insert it on the screen. Um, and it um, describes the institution. Um, the requirements, so the requirements are is you have to be um, 17 years of age, let's see, prove that you're at least 16 years of age, you have to apply for a license at, the, at least 17 years of age, you must have a high school diploma um, or GED, um, so you have to um, prove your transcripts and then there's this whole thing about transfers. Um, and it says uh, career statistics, which is important. As the average income for full-time salon employees, including tips, is approximately $11.89 per hour, with about $23,780 per year. Um, there are plenty of freshman opportunities in cosmetology. And then it goes over other costs, and it says upon graduation, you have to sit for the state board, which I am in Michigan, and the fee for that is $230, which is registration and testing. Um, so it goes over the cosmetology program. I'm going to skip that because I'm in the nail technician program. So, um, the nail technician program. At the French Academy of Cosmetology, we learn an exciting and rewarding profession that will give you the latest and the latest advances in nail technology. We have found that beautiful nails have become a grooming essential where skills are in demand. So it says we've been learning nail theory, practical training, manicures, pedicures, sculpting acrylic, nail art, tips with overlay, silk fiberglass wraps, artificial application and removal, nail disorders, sanitation and safety precautions, um, product, sales, and knowledge, and a nail technician is a total of 400 hours. And then it goes over the breakdown, so like it says, 
We spend a, a total of 145 theory hours, 205 practical hours, 50 unassigned hours, and that's a total of uh, 400 hours. And then it also goes over the esthetician program and the instructor program if you wanted to become an instructor. And then it goes over the graduation requirements. Um, um, it says all French Academy students must pass at the minimum of 80% grade level, pass the senior final, and have a tuition balance of zero. So meaning that you just paid everything out. And I'll go over um, the payments as well in a minute. Um, and then it says job placement. French Academy is proud to say that we have placed many of our students in the surrounding area salons, spas, and medical fields, but we do not guarantee that. So that's basically literally just I'm saying, like, they have a high placement into jobs, but you're not guaranteed a job. Like, they can't promise you getting a job outside of it, but there are so many open fields um, with the nail technician, cosmetology, all that. And it says attendance requirements. Um, required to attend 35 to 40 hours per week, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30. Every other Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8.30 to 4 p.m. And then part-time part -time students are required a minimum, minimum of 20 hours per week. And then after 350 hours of recorded cosmetology students and 100 nail hours for technician students, full-time and part-time students are required to attend every other Saturday. So you do Monday through Friday for the first three weeks, and then after that, um, you're in, like, I think it's a senior student, I'm not quite sure, and then you, um, um, come in on Saturdays and it's when they have the salon open and all those things. So then it goes over dress code, which I'm going to go over more later because I have a different sheet, so I'll just skip that for now. Um, it says, school closing will be announced on, um, WZZM TV 13. Um, it goes over tardiness, basically you, um, just can't, like obviously if you're sick and you miss it, that's fine, but it's, you're going to have to add that on to your graduation time. Like I'm expected to go from May 4th to July 23rd, but if I miss a day, then it'll get extended pretty much. Um, and then the grading system is 80 to 100% is satisfactory or passing and 79 and below is unsatisfactory or failing. And then it says you're expected to um, conduct yourself in a professional manner. And then it goes over scholarships and all that stuff. But I did not, um, since I'm in a nail technician course and they have very few people come in for nail technician, they have more come in for cosmetology and esthetician. Um, the financial aid wasn't offered for my course. And like I said, I will go over um, the pricing in just a minute. Um, so, um, for this it goes over everyone that like, um, who's important in the building that I have to know, which I'm going to skip over because they're just names and I don't think they want their name out there. Um, it goes over nail tech is full time 40 hours, which is 12 weeks or 3 months, and part time is 400 hours, which takes 5 months. Um, it goes over all the holidays, they are off, but um, there is none for the summertime. And then we have the payments. So the nail technician for full time, like I said, it's three months, 400 hours, and it's 35 hours per week minimum or a maximum of 40 hours per week. And um, if you're not feeling like hold that up, I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it, so I'll just read it off to you. And it says uh, the fees, tuition is $3,645 with a $100 application fee. 200 enrollment fee and 830 for the books and kit. And the books here they're doing are online, so they give you a Chromebook. Obviously, not give you you pay for it. Um, and that's the total cost of four thousand seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. And then it says that the payment is due two thousand four hundred six, and that's due by day one. And then after that, um, you have a monthly balance of seven hundred eighty-nine point six six per month. I don't know why I said it like that. Seven hundred eighty-nine dollars and sixty-six cents. And then the part-time one, like I said, is five months and it is more expensive. The tuition is $4,880, um, with the rest of the prices being the same, so the total is $6,010. So it's more expensive to do it that way. The reason I wanted to go full-time is just because I'm able to right now with um, not doing any college classes over the summer. So I just thought it'd be good and my work allowed it as well. So Monday through Friday, I will be in 
nail school starting May 4th and then once it changes on um, the days where I have to work Saturdays, I just switch the day at work. Um, and then they give you a student information packet which basically um, goes over the financial assistance and um, also how much you lose if um, you drop the course. I think like immediately you lose like 0.1%. Um, but this is kind of just like also that they don't allow smoking, where the parking is. Um, this is to the west side of the building. Oh, kit ownership policy. If a student discontinues his or her enrollment, tuition and kit may not be paid in full. Therefore, kits are considered property of the French Academy. Okay, that's good to know. I don't plan on quitting. I plan on going all the way through. Um, and then it just also goes over some other um, nitty gritty things. And then um, there was also this thing I had to sign that showed that they went over all that with me. And then, um, I won't show it, but um, the person who I went um, with at the French Academy, the admissions financial aid director, gave me her personal number, which was super sweet. Um, so now I'm just going to go over the schedules they gave me. So this is the May 2020 schedule. And what I will be doing is 9 a.m. to 4.30, but the other time slots were 9 to 2 and 11.30 to 4 for the part-time students. And I wrote at the top, the first three weeks are no weekends. So like I said, I'll be going Monday through Friday. And I will start on the 4th, so I will be starting here, Monday through Friday. And then these first three weeks, I won't have um, um, any Saturdays. And then it'll change, and I get to pick a day off during Monday through Friday. And then I work Saturdays, but I think I have to work Friday. So I think I can have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday off instead of Saturday. Um, and Saturday. My camera cut out for some reason, so back at it. Um, this is just um, going over all the costs. This is my contracts. I had to sign basically agreeing to everything that I just talked about. Um, and now let's go over the dress code. Um, so I know some um, nail schools and cosmetology schools, they require like scrubs and stuff that I've seen from other videos on YouTube, but this requires um, shirts to be solid black, gray, or white. So one of the three colors. You need to have sleeves, and sleeves can't be longer than wrist length. There can be no cleavage or no mid um, mid midsection exposed. So pants, um, functioning button and zippers, so that they're not like yoga pants or leggings. Solid black, must not drag on the floor, must not be faded. And yoga pants and stretch pants. They're considered yoga pants or stretch pants if they don't have a zipper or um, buttons on it. Um, so they say that it has to cover your backside, like your butt, um, if you do wear leggings. And then it says skirts and dresses, they must be black, black and white, never higher than three inches above the knee. Shoes and boots, all black, may have gray soles, no white of any other color. Height is up to you, no heel or toes exposed. So, like you can wear a heel, but like the back of your foot can't be exposed and neither can your toes. And that was, she explained to me, was in case... Like, you know, drop chemicals on you from the nail technician course, or if you are in cosmetology, you drop the scissors and don't hurt yourself. Um, socks must be all black. Um, they can be knees high, must be worn daily in the winter. Accessories, you can wear jewelry of any color, scarves, no shorts, no hats. Um, and then it says, gentlemen, no face hair or nail enhancements without approval. Um... State regulation, the aprons and name tags must be worn at all time. And then it says, if dress code is abused, we will be, it will be switched to uniforms at the student's expense. It says, to look professional daily. Remember, in the beauty industry, always look your best. Um, and so then it kind of has little examples of it there, just in a white t-shirt, black apron, and then black t-shirt, black apron. So now I'm just going to show you guys um, the clothes I ordered. I don't have the pants, but they're just regular um, black slacks. So I'll show you the t-shirts I ordered. I got them in a pack on Amazon. And I will look up the price right now. I had it open on my phone. Um, my pants are arriving tomorrow. That's good news. Um, let's see where Sure it is. I got them in a pack of two, um, so I got white and black, and they're Amazon Essentials, and it, they were $16 for two shirts, so I got um, literally just a plain white v-neck t-shirt, 
and it is long enough to cover my butt in case I do wear leggings. And then I also just got um, a plain black t-shirt and I got these in smalls, which I probably should have gotten extra smalls, but if they're a little big, it's okay. And then, um, like I said, I just got a couple pairs of black like slacks. Let me find the price for those. I can link these all below, too, if any of you guys are interested. Um, let's see. One pair was $28, and the other pair was $24. So I just bought two of those because of the price. And then I got these Dr. Scholl's um, clogs to wear. Because I looked at the best shoes um, for this industry and it recommended like comfortable and clogs were one of them so I thought I'd get, and they're also non-slip which wasn't necessary but um, these were $45 on Amazon and they just look like a simple black clog, they're Dr. Scholl's so they will be more um, comfortable and padded on the inside so that's just what I personally decided to get, like I said I can link these below. Um, it just seemed like a comfortable option and um, my mom honestly always wears clogs to her job. She's a nurse and she says they're super comfortable so I decided to get those. They have more expensive and less expensive ones so this was like a mid price and that's what I decided to get. And then as for what I'm bringing the first day. Um, the first day actually will be online. The first week is going to be online because of the whole quarantine and COVID-19 all that stuff. But um, they recommended, so I'm going to bring my little Jansport um, backpack. I didn't want to bring my backpack that I also bring to college because I have a ton of crap in there, like my calculator and all that stuff. So I just didn't want to bring it. And then I'm also going to bring this binder. Um, I have dividers in it already, which I'll probably change the names out for. And so I'm going to bring this binder just to put any papers in. I'll probably keep these in there as well. And then I just have this um, old black notebook. I think I saw some writing on there for a second. Um, it's just some chemical structures because I'm a chemistry major. Um, yeah, so I just found this old black notebook. Um, it's just empty on the inside, and so I figured I want to use that to write some stuff down. And then I'm also just going to bring some colorful different pens for like taking notes. Like they said, everything is online on the Chromebook. But um, some people learn better, like me, with writing it down and having it in front of you. So I'm going to bring some colorful pens, a regular black pen, and then a pencil. Just to have all the stuff ready. Um, so I'm going to stick that in there, actually. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll make another video showing my nail kit and then hopefully updating with everything I'm learning. Um, and how the first week goes, I'll keep an update on that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. And I will try to link all the clothes I bought in case you guys are in a similar program and want um, to look for some other clothing. Or even if you just think they're cute, whatever. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know of any questions, um, comments, concerns, anything you guys have regarding nail school or what you guys want to see. I would love to know what you guys prefer to see. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. And take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.